Rob Reiner, who meathead, you know, from All in the Family, uh, Reiner is making a documentary on Christian nationalism. And Reiner is an atheist and he's a big lib and there's no doubt about that. He has said nice things about Christianity in the past, in fairness. He's said that he's not a Christian, but he tries to live like a Christian. He has said that, uh, you know, love your neighbor as yourself is as good a, a maxim as he's ever heard. So he's attracted to uh, some kind of uh, single aspect of Christianity, but he doesn't, even though he's attracted to that, it's an important rule, he, he does not He's not sufficiently attracted to embrace the whole faith. In fact, he seems fairly opposed to the faith, uh, and he's certainly opposed to the faith in forming American politics. And that wouldn't be a big story. Uh, Libs are going to make anti-Christian movies. They do it all the time. The bigger part of the story is that major evangelical leaders, major Christian leaders at some point or another, have actually joined Rob Reiner in attacking Christian nationalism. We'll get to that in one second. First, though, We obviously primarily want to store up our treasures in heaven, but when you want to supply your own material needs on earth for the duration of your life, you'll you'll probably want some resources for that, which is why you got to check out Birch Gold. Right now, text Knowles to 989898. Diversify your savings with physical precious metals while stockpiling silver in your home safe. Take advantage of Birch Gold Group's most popular special of the year now through December 22nd. For every $5,000 you spend with Birch Gold, they will send you a one-ounce silver eagle coin for free. That's a pretty good deal. Text Knowles, Canada WLAS, to 989898 to claim your eligibility now. You can purchase gold and silver and have it shipped directly to your home or have Birch Gold's precious metal specialists help you convert an existing IRA or 401k into a tax-sheltered IRA in gold for no money out of pocket. They will send you free silver for every $5,000 you purchase. Keep it for yourself or give something with real value as a stocking stuffer this year. Just text the keyword Knowles, K-N-W-L-E-S, to 989898 to claim your eligibility. With an A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau and thousands of happy customers, now is the best time to buy gold from Birch Gold. Text Knowles, K-N-W-L-E-S, to 989898. Claim your eligibility for free silver on qualifying purchases before December 22nd. That is Knowles, K-N-W-L-E-S, to 989898. Rob Reiner going after Christian nationalism. America and Christianity are like baseball and apple pie, and we celebrate them together. I was 16, 17 years old when I became a Christian. I'm an evangelical minister. I've been a Christian my whole life. I'm a Christian nationalist. I have nothing to be ashamed of because that's what most Americans are. Is Christian nationalism Christian? Um, no, it isn't. We should be blazing forth as a countercultural example, and instead, we're leading the charge of malice and division. Christian nationalism uses Christianity as a means to an end, that end being some form of authoritarianism. Being a Christian is about the values of inclusion. Christian nationalism is certainly not based on the values of the gospel. This is not a movement about Christian values. This is about Christian power. Okay, I don't recognize anyone in this movie other than David French, who is exactly the sort of person I would expect to be in this movie. (laughs) David French, a former writer for National Review, a libertarian or neoconservative-minded right-winger, but he wrote for for conservative publications, and he was a member of conservative organizations, and then Trump, I guess, radicalized him, and now he's pretty clearly on the left. He was writing for The Atlantic for a while. Now I think he's writing for The New York Times— And his raison d'etre appears to be to attack from the the authority of an American evangelical, a a conservative, but not that kind of conservative, you know, a court jester in the kingdom of liberalism, from his his, uh, self-styled identity as a conservative Christian, he attacks conservatives and he attacks Christians. Now, the reason I don't know any of the other people in here, and the only reason I know David French is because he ran in conservative circles for some time is it, this is all Protestants who are in this movie. There are no Catholics. And it's no knock on Protestants, certainly no knock on evangelicals. Many of my best friends are evangelicals and Protestants, but I'm, I'm not. I'm a Catholic. And so I'm just not as familiar with these leaders of the evangelical movement. So why is that? Why is it that it's evangelicals in this movie? Well, it's, it, 
It's no knock on evangelicals exactly. It's more to do with Christian nationalism. Christian nationalism is a fundamentally Protestant movement. Now, in practice, I support Christian nationalism. I, and in practice, I guess David French and those, those evangelicals in this movie oppose Christian nationalism. The reason that I support Christian nationalism practically is because we have a nation. I respect our nation. I'm a patriot. Love my country. It's an extension of filial piety. And the soul of our nation is Christian. It was founded explicitly as a Christian nation in 1620 by the pilgrims at Plymouth Rock who sailed here on the Mayflower, which is the name of an excellent brand of cigars. And the uh, leaders of the Massachusetts Bay Colony called this a uh, uh, model of Christian charity, a shining city on a hill. Our founding fathers spoke in broadly Christian terms. John Adams said that our morality in America would have to be a Christian morality. John Jay said exactly the same thing. George Washington gave thanks to God. Abraham Lincoln uh, n- never wrote or spoke without in some way channeling the King James Bible. We've got in God we trust on our money. It's a Christian country. Most people are Christian. It's just a Christian country. There's no other way to put it. So if we're a nation and we're going to be Christian, well, then I guess that's Christian nationalism, right? But the liberals don't like that because the liberals don't like Christianity and they don't like nation states. <laughs> what they want is liberal globalism. Now, the reason I say Christian nationalism is fundamentally Protestant is because nationalism is fundamentally Protestant. Nationalism is a product of the Westphalian system, the Treaty of Augsburg and the Peace of Westphalia, which put an end to the religious wars, which came about as a result of the cracking up of the unity of Christendom. So Before all of that happened, Europe, Christendom broadly, was united in one faith with lots of different political entities, but there was a connection between the unified faith and all of the different political entities, notably the Holy Roman Empire, but even other little political entities, and therefore, the civilization had a unity. We all had the same faith, and and that faith was expressed visibly in political life, because our faith is an incarnational faith, because our Lord is incarnate. He's not just floating in the sky. He enters into history in time and space. He picks specific apostles. He gives them the keys to the kingdom of heaven. He says, go forth and make disciples of all nations. He says, go feed my sheep. He says, on this rock, I will build my church, Simon Peter. You're now Peter, which means rock. He says these things, and then there's a visible expression, and the apostles go off to all the corners of the world. And uh, St. Thomas makes it all the way to India, and Peter and Paul go to Rome. And it, it's a you, what separates Christianity from other religious traditions is that you can trace it through journalism. You can, you can trace it not just through philosophy or abstract theology, but with real people in real time and space. There's, a, there's a, an apostolic succession going all the way back to our Lord. Which means that if you are Christian, you must believe that the faith has some kind of physical expression and a community expression. Unfortunately, though, certain branches of branches of sects of branches of modern Christianity have ignored all of that, and they want to just abstract everything about the faith, and they want to make religion something that you just do in your own little head, maybe quietly at night in your room, but that has no visible expression anywhere. But we can't do that. Christianity spreads as a community. And we, because we're social creatures, because we're the political animal, even the very ability to pray will expand or diminish based on political circumstances. Do we live in a culture that's conducive to prayer, that's conducive to the flourishing of the religion or not? Don't forget, Christianity is not a, it's not a polytheistic religion, okay? Our God is a jealous God and we'll have no other gods before him. So when you have people here saying, look, I'm a Christian. Oh, I'm a Christian. I love Christianity and everything. But Christian nationalism is not. It's not Christian at all. It's opposed to Christianity. It's authoritarian. What does that mean? It it certainly makes demands of you. It certainly gives a shape to public life. I wouldn't wouldn't call that authoritarian, but yeah, it's it's not liberal, I guess. Yeah, that's true. It's about power. Yeah, well, there, yeah, there is. I mean, we, we think that Jesus Christ is king of the universe. Yeah, there's power there. We, yes, there's authority. What you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. What you lose on earth will be loosed in heaven. That implies authority. Yeah. But it's not liberal. You're, well, there it is. You've hit the nail on the head. And so this is the question for the people in Rob Reiner's movie. This is the question for David French. 
Are you first a Christian or are you first a liberal? Which is it? Many are going to want to say, well, I'm both. Oh, okay. You can serve two gods? You can serve two masters? You got to pick one. <laughs> which, you got? which is it? And there are many people. Look, I, I don't mean to only single out the evangelical Protestants. There are many Catholics who think in this way too, though it's not a traditionally Catholic way of thinking, which means that it, it, the FBI is not going to investigate this way of thinking. But, but these, these ideas, in as much as they conflict, are going to require that we choose one or the other. Which is it? Which is it, folks? Are we in a Christian nation or are we in a liberal, globalist, hodgepodge of just vague nothingness? For me, if I got to pick one, just a practical reality, I'll choose the former. Man, that was a great clip, huh? Huh? Well, now wait, wait. You got to ring that bell. Subscribe to the Michael Knowles YouTube channel. We'll see you next time.